<clears throat> uh, folks, a resurgence in measles. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah, a, a resurgence in measles and mumps diagnosis is shining new light on the anti-vaxxer movement. Mm -hmm. A group worried about the potential risks of vaccination. Now here with more is anti-vaccination activist Keith O'Malley, yes. everyone. Please welcome Keith. Hi. Hey, hey. Got Keith here. What's All right. going on? Uh, so Keith, what threat do you think to pose to our general population? Well, I'm glad you asked, Jillian. Case in point, my cousin Steve. Now, Steve was the picture of good health. Good cholesterol, didn't smoke, drank his Ovaltine, the whole nine yards. And then one day, last April, he went out and he got himself a flu shot. And then very next day, boom, hit by a boat and died. Immunization, my ass. Keith, it, it sounds like your cousin just got hit by a boat. I mean, regardless whether he was vaccinated or not, vaccines have been proven time and time again to present no serious health risks. Oh. Really, Dan? Who, who told you that? The vaccine companies? Look, just look it up for yourself, buddy, okay? You can find some really enlightening information once you get to like the 50th, 60th page of Google search results for vaccines, danger, George Soros. <laughs> In actuality, vaccines are a death trap and a needle. Do not vaccinate your kids. Now this is, this is why myself and my business have founded the O'Malley's Baby Casket Emporium Foundation for Vaccine Truth. O'Malley's Baby Casket Emporium. Sorry for your loss, now come buy a box. You own a baby coffin store? Baby coffin emporium, but, but yeah. That's, that's all relevant. Back, back to vaccines, okay? Did you know, did you know that children who are vaccinated are over 17 times more likely to develop conditions like autism, paralysis, flu, no, flu pneumonia, and Hemsworthoids? According to a recent study, that's why you got to keep them away from your kids. I'm am sorry, Hemsworthoids? Do you, you you mean hemorrhoids, no, right? No 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 no. These are Hemsworthoids we're talking about. They're they're like hemorrhoids, but each one looks like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> and flumonia? Oh, let's just say that pneumonia and the flu had a one night stand, and the results are not pretty. I'm Keith. What? Where did this study come from? The, Can we? The O'Malley's Baby Casket Emporium Foundation for Vaccine Truth, obviously. O'Malley's Baby Casket Emporium. Oh God. This month, buy two caskets and get the third one free in our limited time triplet special. Keith, isn't owning a store that sells baby coffins while also advocating for parents not to vaccinate their babies kind of, I don't know, a conflict of interest? Conflict of interest? Conflict of interest? <laughs> Jillian, I ought to fight you. I am doing what's best for these kids. It sounds like you just want to sell them coffins. Wait. First of all, I sell the coffins to their parents, obviously. Okay, kids can't afford coffins, especially deceased ones. And secondly, I'm doing this because I want lower infant mortality. We... What? We saw that, but you just did in the camera. We saw that. Listen, folks. <laughs> vaccines come in needles. Do you know what else comes in needles? Uh, I don't know, how about heroin? <laughs> That's all you need to know. You have two choices ahead of you, folks, all right? One where your child develops all sorts of horrible conditions because you decided to stick them with a needle and fill them with toxic chemicals like some sort of human jelly donut, or one where your child is perfectly healthy, safe, or maybe dying from typhoid, if such a thing even exists. You truly are a philanthropist on a mission, Mr. O'Malley. Can please? What is next? Well, well, right now I'm putting a lot of my money towards the O'Malley ba uh, Baby Casket Emporium Center for a Future Without Bike Helmets, aimed at fighting the negative effects of helmets on developing brains. Oma O'Malley's oh Baby Casket Emporium. It's like buying a crib, but it's forever. All right, folks. Keith O'Malley, everybody. O'Malley. Oh, no. Business genius right there.